Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to put side by side two of my favorite plugins on the market. The first one is from STL Tones, STL Tonality, as you guys can see on the screen, the Will Putney plugin. So let's first hear some sounds from the plugin. I'm gonna scroll through the presets so you guys can hear the tones. Okay, so um, let me just introduce you to the plugin, which is very easy to use. From the left, you've got your in, then you've got the gate, you can turn on or off just by clicking here and just seeing this knob. Then you have your tuner, then you have the amps section selection. You have amp 1, amp 2, amp 3, and then amp 4, and finally amp 5, which is um, a bass amp, which is a bonus on this, on this plugin. Then uh, next to it you have cabinets and um, let's check out the cabinets and put this this way. Cabinet 1, cabinet 2, cabinet 3, 4, 5 which is for the bass but you can use it as a guitar as well. And then you have uh, you can load your impulse responses which is pretty cool. Also you have here right here on the side you can see the visualization for the pedals, amps, cabs, EQ Let's go back to the pedals. On the stomp up view, you have your sort of a two screamer. You can choose here from a TS9 to a 808. Uh, clipping, gain, low boost, then you have volume tone and gain on the first pedal. Then you have a graphic nature pedal as well. The name of these pedals are these ones. This is a delay, they can engage or disengage. And you also have a very cool reverb effect. Uh, this is kind of a neat because in one plugin you had a, a lot of stuff. So this is a really a mix-ready solution and recording solution as well. Then you have the output, final output. Last but not the least, uh, you have the EQ, which is pretty cool because you can shape your tone just like you want to fine tuning without going into any, any other plugins, third-party plugins, in order to get the sound from the beginning right. I'm going to put this side by side with the 14 Nameless Suite, which is really a, an awesome plugin and see which one uh, fits better in the mix because it's in the mix to really listen to the differences. Let's first start with the STL. Now let's go to the 40 ones.
go back to the um, STL. Now as a final recap, they both sound great, but uh, if you want like a mixed ready solution and a uh, more affordable one, I think the, um, the real winner here is the STL Tones, because you get uh, a bunch of different pedals inside the plugin, and also you get uh, EQ inside the plugin, something you don't get on the 14, on the 14 Nameless Suite plugin. Uh, also, uh, you have effects like reverb and delay uh, that you don't also don't have on the 14. And I thought, and I think for myself, when I started making this song, um, the STL tonality was more of an um, easy mix plug-in solution, kind of ready to go. Um, and on the 14 Nameless, although it sounds very good, I did have to mess around a lot with uh, the EQ to fit the mix. So with the, with the STL tonality, uh, I just uh, use a random preset, the one that I, I like the most, and it already immediately kind of uh, fitted the mix, and I didn't have one. I didn't have to have much later um, to make the perfect tone for this song. So I guess the real winner here is the STL tonality, not only by the features, but it brings at the price point as well. Uh, and Will Putney has some great sounds into it. The presets it has. Um, are suburb and there's a lot of presets not like the 14 that just has a few ones and you can really go fast on your mixes and get a great tone just out of the box without messing around too much with the plugin so thanks for watching cheers